just up a bit from Pottinger's entry, which is down there, we have another historic and iconic entry just across the road. And unfortunately, and this is Joy's entry, unfortunately there's a, a bit of work going on in the building above it. But Joy's entry's claim to fame is that it was named after Francis Joy, founder of the new newsletter. And the newsletter started publication in 1737 and it is believed that the newsletter was published on this entry. And there's another uh, spot in here that might be of interest to you. It's McCracken's Cafe Bar. But uh, the entry takes its name, as I said, from the Joy family, who were prominent 18th century residents of the city. And uh, this fella, Francis Joy, founded the, the newsletter, and his grandson was Henry Joy McCracken, after whom uh, the McCracken uh, Cafe Bar is named, and that was uh, first placed there in 1892. So it is believed that uh, Henry Joy McCracken actually lived up this alley. Says the Kraken's Cafe Bar open as usual, and they're doing a wee bit of work in here. So, this is Joy's entry. And that's their, that's their menu. <laughs> it's a wee bit covered over here. Right, we've got a wee bit of information about the entries. The, the close-knit passageways where Belfast was born and bred. It's the entries. So you've got Castle Arcade, Donegal Arcade, Wine Cellar Entry, Crown Entry, Wilson's Courtyard, or uh, Wilson's Court, Joy's Entry, which we're on, um, Pottinger's entry and Cole's Alley, which I didn't see. And then there's this plaque up here as well. Narrow streets and arcades that connect the main shopping areas of the centre of Belfast. Dating from the 17th century to modern times, they have been linked with social and economic growth of the city. There you are now. And this one, this uh, bit of down at the bottom talks about Joy's entry. At the high street end of the entry, an iron corner railing and fluted skirting plate can be seen. This was installed in the past as a means to direct horse-drawn carts around the curving wall of the corner tenement. Takes its name from Francis Joy, which we've got. Francis Joy was also grandfather to Henry Joy. Yes, we've got. A plaque at the high street end of Joy's entry has been erected near the site where uh, Henry Joy's uh, house was. Not only being a home of printing business, but also has been the location of a licensed premises dating to 1892. Yes, that's what it. The tavern was then owned by an admiral, admiral and was frequented by sailors from the ships would have been moored in the Farset River now High Street. So Joy's entry. Somewhere along in one of these houses Henry Joy McCracken was born and this house or this building on my right hand side definitely looks as if it's original. We're just approaching the uh, 
McCracken Cafe Bar. And you're saying to yourself, if these walls could speak. This was the real birthplace of Belfast commerce and finance and industry. Or one of the birthplaces. This is the core. So this is McCracken's Cafe Bar, dating from 1892. Got a big uh, notice board here. Looking west along High Street, 1820. And this is Henry Joy McCracken, who was hung in Corn Market, 1798, and Corn Mar Market is only a few hundred yards away. Joy Centre. All changed, I'm sure, but you get the channel. You get the channel picture. Bridge Street up there by the post office and High Street down here with the Albert clock away in the distance. Uh, this is the entrance to Joy's entry. It's uh, and there's a couple of a couple of blue plaques up here. Francis Joy, founder of the newsletter at the sign of the Peacock in Bridge Street and Henry Joy McCracken, born in a house near this city.